Hello, and welcome to another edition of Connecting California. Today, we are connecting with Assemblyman Cameron Smythe. Assemblyman, thanks for joining us again on the show. Thanks, Michelle. It's good to be back. Well, Governor Brown held a forum in your district recently pitching his budget plan. Uh, what made you decide to be the first Republican to accept his invitation? You know, I felt that uh, it, it was actually a unique opportunity. I mean, it's not every day that uh, the governor is going to come to uh, to your district and to really talk about a, a, a meaningful issue like the budget. And uh, and so I thought, uh, as a, instead of staying away, we should uh, we should embrace it. And uh, my staff and I worked with the governor's office to uh, to make sure that we got a good location, and then uh, to make sure that the guests were not just uh, filled with people who. Uh, who supported the governor's plan. We thought it was an opportunity to present a, uh, a whole wide range of opinions. And so uh, not only did we have people from the local schools and law enforcement, which was the uh, kind of the, the, the purpose of the, uh, of the meeting, but we brought people from the Chamber of Commerce, uh, from uh, community college districts, from the, the business community, from uh, all parts of, the, uh, of my district. Uh, and I, so I thought it was good. I thought it was a good opportunity for me to hear uh, firsthand from the governor, uh, but also give him an opportunity to hear uh, from uh, from my constituents uh, on their opinion on the budget. So I thought it was an opportunity that we should uh, we should take advantage of. And you mentioned wanting to hear the response to the governor's proposal. How how would you say it was received? You know, I think it was uh, it, it was mixed. I, I think everybody there uh, was appreciative of the fact that uh, a the governor was uh, was willing to come uh, to a district. Uh, they supported the fact that I participated as well. Um, but then there was uh, you know, those who agreed with the governor's proposal, and there were those who didn't. Um, you know, he got uh, kudos, I got kudos, he got called out for some things, I got called out for, uh, for, for it things. So I thought it was probably the, uh, the most productive of the, uh, of the town hall meetings that he'd had in, in Republican districts because we wanted to make it that way by bringing in a you know, cross-section and diverging opinions. And so I think it ended up being uh, being very, very productive. And lately, it seems like we're always hearing it's either taxes or cuts to solve the budget. Is, is there a third option? You know, I, I think there is. And I think that that's a uh, you know, thank you for asking that, because, you know, it's too many times that that's how the, the debate is being framed. And, you know, if you look at, uh, you know, several years ago, Governor Schwarzenegger uh, put forth the uh, you know, government performance review and it identified uh, billions of dollars of, of government uh, reforms that uh, that could be enacted, and, and while you know not all of those are going to work, and not all of those are going to you know, would solve our problem, I think that uh, you know that could certainly lessen the uh, the impact of the the cuts and and potential uh, proposed taxes that are that are being put out there because. You know, it's not always going to be one or the other, and I think if, uh, if my colleagues and I, you know, are willing to uh, to look at the reforms necessary, I think that would you know lessen uh, you know some of the pain and the decisions that had to be made, uh, but also it would put long-term reforms in place so that uh, future legislatures wouldn't face these issues, uh, you know, in the next economic uh, downturn. And and after listening to his pitch, are, are you on board with the governor's plan? <laughs> you know, I think that that uh, needs to be be clear that uh, you know, just because I participated in the uh, in the hearing doesn't mean I was there pitching the proposal with the governor. Um, I agree with his position that uh, you know we are facing very very serious issues in California, and I I'm glad that he is willing to uh, you know not sugarcoat it, and he wants to make uh, real reforms. Um, you know, and so I share that with him. And there are some parts of his proposal that I think uh, you know that, that I can get on board with. Um, but we're a long, it's a long way off for me to say that, uh, that I'm supporting the, the, the governor's proposal. You know, I, uh, I, I opposed the tax increases in 2009, and uh, you know, the voters were pretty clear uh, in their position in, in rejecting the extension, so I'm not sure that, uh, that this is the best, uh, the best path. But like I said, I appreciate the governor is willing to have the debate, willing to come to Republican districts to hear from those who have a differing in opinion. Uh, we're going to have to get a budget deal done sooner or later, and uh, you know, hopefully we can continue to work towards that end. Let's hope so. Assemblyman Smythe, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And this has been another edition of Connecting California.